Hey guys, it's Tommy back with another video, and as you can see, this one is going to be a helmet cam, and it will be a narration video backed by a request. Now, unfortunately, I did not have a video last week. Sorry about that. I was attempting to have a helmet cam narration video, and unfortunately, I left it in the wrong resolution. So, unfortunately, it's a little bit disorienting, um, but this week I got it fixed, and we are ready to go. So... There is nothing new as far as pads go here. I am back in one of my Bauer 961 masks just because that fits the helmet cam perfectly. And uh, otherwise, there is nothing new to note. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off the game with a little bit of a surprising play, as I figured at this point that this guy was probably going to drive left on my glove side and make a shot, but instead he passes over, and this guy really doesn't have much of a shot. He probably should have passed back to that forward had he continued going. I just had to make the easy save and control the rebound. <laughs> Now, I didn't have to make that difficult of a save on this play, but I had to anticipate this number 19 in front of me being able to swipe at the puck. So you see here, there a guy is going to drive into that high slot and going to take an easy wrister on, and number 19 here is going to take a swipe at it. So I figured at that point he might get a tip on. Fortunately, he didn't, and I was able to control that easy rebound. <laughs> Now, as this guy was coming in, I recognized pretty early that he really didn't have much of a play here. He either had to take the shot on, or he had to drop it back to that forward who's in the high slot near the middle. So he goes ahead, and he takes that shot through my defenseman. Fortunately, it was an easy blocker save just over in the corner. Now as this forward is coming down, I'm pretty sure that he's going to cut into the middle. And as he comes down, my defenseman has a stick there, but really he only had one hand on the stick, and it should have been pretty easy just to go ahead and cut into the middle. However, he's going to try to wrap around and make a quick play here. And so all I need to do here is follow the puck and make sure that it's not going to come out into the slot. So he's going to pass behind the net, and I'm not sure what's going on on the other side here. And as I turn around, I notice that the puck didn't actually end up on that side of the net, so I had to turn right back around and make sure that I was in good position for this pass right here. So this guy's actually going to get a pretty good shot on with his backhand, and I'm going to easily blocker that away. And they do have that guy right here, but he really doesn't have much of an angle. And at this point, I know that he has nothing to shoot at, and I just need to hold my ground. <laughs> Nice. Now this play seemed to catch everyone off guard because it deflects off of my defenseman stick here and it goes into the side of the slot. Now fortunately it didn't come out any further because he really didn't have much of an angle to shoot this puck at. So all I had to do was make myself big and make that easy save with my left pad. And then my defenseman is there to catch the rebound. <laughs> So as this guy comes down the right side, he really had two options, and that's either to take the shot on, and he is going to hope for that rebound over on the left, or he's going to pass it directly over to the guy on the left. So he opts for option number one, and I know that at this point, so what I figure I'm going to do is get my toe on it, and that way it redirects the rebound over to my right side and away from that guy who's screaming through the slot. And it ended up working out very well. <laughs> Thank you. Nice so their forward here is going to have a beautiful opportunity to shoot through a double screen. And not only that, but it does get deflected on the way in, so it's a little bit more difficult of a play than I had expected. So as it comes in, it gets deflected, and I wasn't able to control this rebound, but fortunately, my defenseman was right there to knock it away. Nice job. Now here's one of those really good opportunities that we've seen in past videos that starts with a broken play. So this guy's going to come in and he's going to act like he's teeing it up and my defenseman gets a little bit of a stick there and they have a guy who's following up right there in the slot. So he gets a fantastic opportunity. But I shut down the five hole, make the easy save. It does go back out into the slot before I have a defenseman right there. <laughs> Oh, nice. 
That was a fucking joke. Yeah. So you guys have been asking where are all the goals, and so I've left them in the past few games. And I decided to include the goals in this one as well. So we can see here, here's a very odd broken play. And at this point, I have no idea what's going to happen. So it actually jumps up and he's going to knock it out of the air. But of course, I can't see that because I have a defenseman in my way. And their forward right there was coming through the slot. So unfortunately, I didn't see it get knocked out of the air. And it was far too late for me to react to it. So that's the end of the first period. It was one to nothing them. And so I just wanted to kind of note here what I do between every period. I make sure that the posts are in perfectly. Don't want any shenanigans there. Make sure that I am centered in the net yet again, and I'm ready to go. Now I'm sure you guys have noticed, especially in the helmet cam videos, it's pretty apparent that when the play is coming down, I look to either my left or my right. And so you'll see me here look to the left. But to be perfectly honest, I have no idea what that's about, and it just must be a mental tick. So anyway, going on with the play, he's going to take an easy shot on right into my chest. Easy save. Control the rebound. <laughs> Man, that's a long way. So of course this is a longer play, but I'm not going to include the whole thing. That way it doesn't waste your guys' time. So this guy's going to come in. I think he's probably going to get a pretty good shot off, but my defenseman pretty much head him off there. And instead their guy is going to get a great opportunity here in the slot. And he goes ahead and shoots it completely wide. Meanwhile, one of their forwards runs smack dab into me. So I look over at the referee for a penalty, and he obliges, puts his hand up. And I notice here, just making sure that we aren't getting any penalty, and there was no high stick on the call. So now it's off to the races. And of course, this is always a dreaded part of goaltending, having to make that very long race all the way down the ice, and then inevitably the whistle will go right as you get to the bench. But fortunately this time I actually make it to the bench and not only that but once I'm in about a couple seconds later we end up scoring. So it ends up working out really well. Corner, corner, get there! What an opportunity for the other team here. Now my forward is kind of lollygagging back and that's why I was yelling at him a bit to make sure that he's moving his feet. However, their guy gets to the puck and makes a nice pass back into the slot, which is very clear, and then their defenseman winds up. Now, unfortunately, it's a relatively weak slapper and a very easy save for me, and my defenseman is right there to make sure that he has the rebound. Now, this was a really nice play once again. Their guy is going to end up getting it on that right side, and he's going to take one heck of a shot. I wasn't expecting one that was that fast. I did have to be a little bit cognizant of that guy who was over there on my left. I wasn't sure if he was going to go for a tip. So this guy's going to get a pretty good shot. It's going to go off my upper arm and off the post, fortunately. Hang on. Yep. You got one guy right behind you. Now, I think this is another really missed opportunity for the other team. This guy's going to make a very, very nice pass over to that forward who is on my right side. However, instead of taking his time and making it a three-on-one, and it should have been a uh, really nice opportunity for maybe one or several shots, he goes ahead and tees up an absolute blast, but it was into my chest, and as you all know, I'm a pretty big goalie, and I easily recover that rebound, and there's nothing for them to show for it. So that's the end of the second period going into the third, and you can probably see on the scoreboard there it is 3-1. to one. So it's a pretty close game, and we just have to make sure that we're going to play good D for the rest of the game. So let's get started with the third. Get back! So of course they're going to start off this third period with a fantastic opportunity and a partial breakaway here. So this guy's going to get around my defenseman and get a fantastic opportunity. Now at this point I know that my defenseman has that right side cover so he's not going to be able to do any dangles or anything. He's just going to have to go for the shot. I actually feared he was probably going to go glove side but instead he goes to my right side along the ice and it's a pretty easy save. 
Watch middle, watch middle. So I start off the play here by communicating with my defensemen that of course they have a couple guys who are in the slot, one of them on the high slot and one on the other side. So he turns around and appropriately decides to take that guy that is on the other side of my net here who would have been in perfect position for this rebound. So their defenseman is going to tee it up and I'm going to get a stick on it and make sure that it ends up in the netting. Four, that's you, that's you, right here. Nice job, bud. Nice job. Thank you, sir. A little lucky, but I'll take it. So I went ahead and fast forwarded it to the good parts of this clip, um, even though it started off with pretty good communication there. Now, this pass is going to go into the high slot here, and again, they're going to get a great opportunity, especially because it's through a screen of my own defenseman here, but he shoots it straight into my chest, and I think he was pretty frustrated at that. So, pretty easy save, and just squish the rebound, and we're good to go. Oh, come on! Now you heard me there say, oh, come on, and that's because I was a little bit frustrated at that point that we kept trying to pass through people. And of course, this is a relatively close game, so I wanted to make sure that they weren't getting too many opportunities. Now they are going to get the shot on here, and it is a very weak shot to my five hole, but I didn't redirect it over into the corner as far as I wanted to, but I knew I was in pretty good position here. Now, even though my guy ends up missing it there, and they have a guy right here, I decided to poke it past him and make sure that uh, my guys were over there behind him. So I prefer to poke it away as opposed to put myself out of position and maybe get to the puck. Now, as usual, this is a relatively good opportunity, but unfortunately for him, he takes too long to get this shot off. And by the time he does, he really doesn't have a whole lot of net to shoot at. So all I had to do was make myself big and make sure that I make that initial save. Go ahead. <laughs> Now we've kind of seen this as a theme throughout the game where they're going to have pretty good opportunities but they end up shooting it straight into my chest. So here I have a Ford who is kind of accosting that guy a little bit and they're still going to get a pretty good play off here. So their defenseman's going to get a nice shot. However, this shot is just going to end up straight in my chest and I didn't even really have to move in order to make the save. Oh. So I know you guys didn't get to see game video from last week, but a very similar goal was scored. So I'm going to make a couple changes for the rest of this game and for future games, moving from a Letman style to much more of a Varlamov glove style. So look forward to that, and we'll see if that ends up blocking these lower shots a little bit better. So you could probably hear the frustration in his voice after the save was made. He ended up shooting this puck, but really he had nothing to look at. And he shot it straight into my chest for an easy save. So we came out with the W. It was a 4-2 win and maybe a little bit harder than it would be otherwise, especially since we have a couple top guys out with injuries. So let's go through the line and I'll see you afterwards. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I got it. Thank you. Nice job, boys. Nice job, guys. Good job. Good job, boys. Nice job. Good job, man. Nice job. Nice game, goal. Nice game, guys. Nice game. Nice game, man. Nice game. Nice game, guys. Nice game. Nice game, guys. Nice game. Nice game. Nice game. Nice game. Nice game, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed that four to two win. And definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And I will also link you over to goaliecrease.net as well as the Goalie Crease Net YouTube channel where I do reviews. Now, as far as reviews go, I'm going to let you guys in on that little secret about the elephant in the room. Those were Brian Sub-Zero 6.0 pads. So they were a senior style pad that I recently did a review for Total Goalie. So definitely go over to the Total Goalie YouTube page as well and you will see a review go up in a week or so of my review along with Mike Bruins. It was a fantastic time. So definitely look forward to that. And like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. So enjoy.